Hey guys, it's Young Man DHS here, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up a server on Unturned. So, the reason I'm making this video is because it's been a while since I made my last one, and uh, a couple of things have changed, but I mainly just want to make a more optimized and uh, clean version. So, if this helps you out, uh, please leave a like, and if you're new, make a lot of um, gaming related tutorials so if you're into that kind of thing be sure to subscribe for future content so the first thing you want to do is come to steam and find your unturned game then you want to right click on it hit properties local files browse local files then you want to find this unturned right click on it uh, create shortcut then go to the shortcut go to the properties and then uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the target here and you want to put this in quotation marks if it's not in quotation marks it won't work then after the quotation marks you want to do a space you want to put a dash no graphics then a space again and dash batch mode then a space plus and um, this is where you can make a choice. You can do a uh, LAN server, which basically means you can only play with people in your local area networks. So, um, you know, if you had a friend around your house and he was playing on a different computer, you probably want this mode. Uh, other one is insecure server. This basically means you'll have a server without um, VAC and anti-cheat. So if you're looking to cheat, or uh, you know you have a vac ban or something and then um, the one that we're going to pick is secure server which basically means it has all the anti-cheat enabled and then we're going to go slash and we're going to put young mind underscore server this isn't the server name this is just the folder that your server is going to be kept in and you want to hit ok and then you want to run the shortcut so you should see it will run up this, it will uh, load this little window which is um, basically just the server loading for the first time and you should see if you look in the servers thing now you will see it's been created but we're going to let this finish first it shouldn't take that long um, but yeah I'll see you when it's finished So. Then when it's finished it'll look something like this and you just want to go ahead and type in shut down and then that'll close the server you don't want to click the little x at the top because then it uh, won't save okay so then you want to go to uh, server commands.dat and then you want to edit with notepad plus plus or uh, you can use normal notepad you don't have to use Notepad++, I just think it's nicer. I'll leave a link in the description to download Notepad++ if you want that. So um, we're going to go over a couple of um, commands you can put in here. So I'm going to do the necessary ones first. So um, the first one is name. So it's just the name of your server. I'm going to put in youngmind underscore server. Jeez. Server. Then map. Uh, I'm just going to leave this to PEI. Uh, you know, you can put in anything you want there. You know, as long as you have the map. And then port 27001. Uh, 27015. Then, uh, okay, so these next ones are optional. So uh, I'm going to do slash slash optional. Uh, and you can, you can do this, by the way. This isn't going to... Uh, ruin anything um, and you don't need to do it either I'm just I just think it looks nicer um, okay so the first one is password so if you wanted something you could just put it in there uh, so we're gonna set the password to young mind the next one is mode we're gonna set it to easy by default it's set to normal if you don't put in this command and uh, next one's perspective um, so this can be first, third, or both. I'm just going to leave it as both. Then max players. I'm going to set this to 16, but you can set this to any number you want. 
Then the next one is PvE or PvP. PvP. Uh, this means player versus enemies or player versus player. So if you want players to be able to attack each other, then leave this PvP. The next one is cycle. So basically, what this means is um, how long a uh, like a day will last, um, and this is in seconds. So um, if you wanted it to be five minutes, it would be 300 seconds. Um, so that means one day would last five minutes. And then the last one is welcome. So we can type welcome to Young Minds server. So that's just the welcome message. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to here and run the server again. So then if we go to unturned and play it, um, we'll see you in a second. I'll see you in game. Okay, so now that we're back in game, we're going to go to play servers, uh, actually connect, and then type in localhost and 27015. Um, if your friends want to connect, they need to put in your IP here, um, uh, but you'll need to follow the put forward and tutorial. Um, if you want to watch that, click up in the top right, and I'll also leave it down in the description. Because um, if you want to play with your friends, you will need to follow a port phone tutorial. I think we set the password to Young Mind. So, yep, and then you'll see this is our server here. So, perspective allows first and third, uh, you know, PvP, uh, you know, secure server mode easy, uh, choose disabled, and then it's just survival. So, we go ahead and join, and we'll see when this is loaded up. Okay, so now you can see that we're in game. Uh, at the top left, it says "Welcome to Young Mind's Server." We can click H to switch perspective, and everything's working as normal. So, guys, if this uh, video helped you out, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And um, if you want to be able to play with your friends, you need to follow my port forwarding tutorial. You can either click up in the top right now or you can look down in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh.